How are we all doing today? Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to start off with the stream in a minute. But we're going to be doing some PvP today, so something a little bit different. It does mean starting a new character, unfortunately. But we do still have that single player save to return to if we do choose to. So just give it a couple of minutes, guys, and then we'll jump into the game, all right? Had a lot of trouble with YouTube over the past week since April 1st. Keep losing my subs and playlists. Yeah, over the past week, I've had a few issues of it as well. Um, I checked up on my analytics yesterday for the video I released. And it said I had 8 likes and uh, 4 views. I was like, how does that work? <laughs> so yeah, it's been, a bit, uh, it's been a bit jumpy over the past week. There's been a few things going on. Uploads have been taking a, a bit longer than normal as well. So hopefully we don't have any uh, issues with the stream today. We shouldn't do. All right, let's jump in, shall we? Let me know if that game volume's all right. I just had to, I had to uh, mute it a second just for the, uh, the music side of things. But yeah, I've gone through the liberty of already making a character. Um, we've just gone for the balance 3333. Three, three. Um, advanced archery is always medium, uh, medium running and endurance. Taking an advanced stealth, and then we've got a medium survival along with a medium medical as well. So, pretty much the same characters we had for the single player. But this time, obviously, we are on PvP. Let's jump straight in, shall we? Brand new character. As soon as we land, we need to get rid of our card for sure, because... I am not going to be losing that in a PvP area. <laughs> oh, I thought I spawned on the ground then for a second. <laughs> I'm right next to the wall though, so this is, uh, just be warned, my FPS and the screen may just go, uh, shit. Go to shit now. Normally it doesn't like you jumping near the walls, so... And I mean, we haven't really got the greatest of, uh, drops either, which is fun. What's going on? It all went black. Ancient Rocco, is it all back now? Can you see everything, buddy? Seems to be running fine my side, mate. Unless you meant, like, five minutes ago. Uh, if that's the case, YouTube was being an arse and uh, had a bit of a fit when I went live. So I had to restart this stream. But welcome in, Ancient Rocker. Welcome in, Survival Dude Ashes as well. Nice to see you both. Sit by the campfire, make yourselves warm. We are on pure scum now, so we are on a PvP server, hence the new character. We were going to do a live showcase event for a new game, um, but I think what I'm going to do is just make a video for next Thursday first, and then... On the Sunday next week, if we have a bit more time on the playtest, I may then do a live stream just to show you a bit more about it. Because I have played it a little bit, um, maybe a couple of hours yesterday. I haven't really had a lot of time to jump into it and do a deep dive. But from what I've got from it so far, it is a amazing game. You know, it has a lot of potential. But I still don't want to give too much away until, obviously, next Thursday. But you'll see a video for it. It's working now, Ancient. Nice, nice. Good to hear, man. But we might as well go over to here. I'm going to climb up here and see if we can get ourselves a nice scar or something from the top of this tower. Card, card, card. You know what? I said that before I even come down. I need to get rid of it. And I still didn't. Because I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm going to have to re 
do all this as well as long. But that's fine. We'll uh, do it quickly. I just hate having to re-add all the favourites to the uh, to the bar again. <laughs> it just <laughs> it takes ages. But we'll do it as we go. Save us some time. Grab that. Let's make ourselves a bow and arrow quick, just in case. There's, well, just in case. I know for a fact there's going to be puppets around here, so may as well try and protect ourselves from the get-go, eh? No point dying straight away when it's uh, not to a player. Yeah, I'm on. Get over here. But how's everyone's week been? Hope you've uh, had a nice week. I've been uh, very, very busy this week. I've not had any time for myself. <laughs> but it's alright. It's... Uh, I did it. I did it to myself, so there's no sympathy needed. You know, I'm working six days a week at the moment, so time's just tight at the moment for things. Game sounds a tiny bit quiet. All right, let me uh, boost it up a bit for you. All right, let me know how that is now. got a limiter on the um the audio for this just because it so it doesn't deafen you if I do get a gun or something. Um but I did just turn that down. Nice. Yeah I was trying something else with the whole background music and stuff separating it all. It's still being a bit of a pain in the ass though so may have to uh sort that out throughout the week if I can find some time. I've got a few things I want to add to the stream um for chat and stuff as well. But again, I just I just haven't had the time this week to get around to doing it. But it's alright. Eventually, eventually we'll get there, guys. Alright. What I can tell you is that it's only four weeks until I go away for two weeks. And then when I get back, I'm going to be cutting my days down at work. So I'll have two or three evenings a week to be able to mess around with. So that does mean I'll be uh, doing a couple of extra streams a week. Well, a couple of extra streams. One extra stream a week. I hate that snow biome. There's never any bushes anywhere. About perfect there. All right, lovely. It is windy in little old England today, I tell you. Not enjoying it. Oh man, I stand out like a sore thumb in these oranges. I was recording for the series earlier and I ran past someone and they were just they, they were just running down the road in oranges. <laughs> I was just sat there in the bush like, oh hello friend. <laughs> right, we need to make a bag as well, don't we? Uh, three rags, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's just cut these up. I mean, we stand out like a sore thumb, but it's cold up here, so I'm trying not to get rid of too much warmth if we can. Should have enough rags just from cutting these bits up there. Need to make some more rope. Bit jubbly. Uh, da -da -da -da. Rope. Need another knife. God damn it. That's what I hate about these stone knives. They take so little to destroy. They must have adjusted them somewhat. Storm Kathleen. It was bad up here yesterday evening, pouring and windy. Yeah. Yesterday it wasn't uh it wasn't too bad. Yes uh, today though down here it's been so windy. Not like I've been out anywhere today, but I can hear it. <laughs> I don't think I picked up a knife then, but I did. Welcome, welcome to the stream, everyone. I really appreciate it if you could do me a favour, though, and smash that like button down below. Let's get the stream out there to some more people, shall we? 
And if you've not yet already, then if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be able to join in with the chat in the community. And I'd also really appreciate that because we're only 50 subs away from our 3k mark at the moment. Which isn't too bad. We're on course for our 5k target this year. Which is lovely jubbly. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not the sort of person that will sit here and ask you to like and sub every five minutes, guys. <laughs> I don't, I don't like doing it. Just find it awkward. I don't know why, but yeah. If you could, I'd appreciate it. Get our bow, arrow and our bag done. Well, we've got a bow done, but a bow and a, 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 a bag and our arrows done. And then we'll climb up this area. Try and find some decent things, shall we? Lovely jabbly. I have to find another bush somewhere though. God damn it. There's one all the way down there, but that's pretty long. I'm gonna go this way. Keep running back and forth. Yeah, I thought this would uh, spice up the streams a little bit, especially when it's PvP. You can see me in uh, in real life just have a heart attack when I see someone. <laughs> mm. Right then, let's go find another bush. Your friend? Uh, rocks right here. It's all right. It's all right. Oh God, maybe not. Oh, okay. I always forget that you can make it with a small and a big rock. Why you got to come over here? Stay over there. I don't want. I don't want to know you, mate. All right. Leave me be. I'm here for some quick loot, and then I'm going. I don't really want to stay around the north, to be absolutely honest with you. Too cold. Don't like it. Might have to find ourselves a nice cave as well to live on this uh, this server. Have you seen the new bug yet? Puppets don't respond to you putting eight arrows into one. They just they're not bothered. Yeah, that was a bug a little while ago as well. That was present and it got sorted out. So. It's most likely been messed up again. They have been doing shadow patches again this week, so they may be playing around with the encounter manager again, which obviously may just cause a few issues of it. But no, I was recording earlier on for this series, um, and I didn't notice it then, um, and I was putting down some puppets, so I'll keep an eye on it. What are you doing, playing single player or online multiplayer? What you'll find sometimes is that single player is a bit more buggy than what multiplayer is.
12 arrows might be enough. Let's uh, go climb up here, shall we, first? See if there's anything up here. It's a long old climb. But it'd be worth it if there's a scar or something up there. I think um, gr grills are bugged out again as well. I was trying to cook the other day on a grill. When I was using a pan, it didn't work. And then when I used it without the pan, it didn't work. So I think cooking's a little bit bugged out at the moment as well. But yeah, these things happen, man. It's all good. It'll all be alright in the end. Careful coming down from here. Last time I come down from here, I fell limping around for ages. Start getting surrounded, aren't we? <laughs> I come down, there'll just be a horde there waiting for me. Like, oh, great. Get a nice view of the island from up here, though. There's a nice little spot. This is where I do all this effort to climb all the way up here, and there'll be nothing up here. God damn it. bloody eye though isn't it I don't know if I like it I don't do well with heights <laughs> oh just don't look down be alright be alright not even halfway up yet I don't think oh, we might be yeah about halfway fun looks like the sun's going down as well yeah, damn it. Don't worry, I'll turn the, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, I'll turn the uh, gamma up for you guys if I need to, so you can see a bit better. Got to be some loot around here for me though, before we uh, run off. Can't go that way though. I mean, if we had a screwdriver and some lockpicks, maybe we could, but I don't know if we'll get in there in time to get enough stuff to uh, cope with the iodine, with the, uh, need some iodine tablets and stuff, iodine tablets. So, I don't know if we'd make it in far enough to get some. There's no point dying so early to something so stupid, is there? Even though my brain cells are telling me to do it. Do it. Do it. Come on, just do it. <laughs> oh, I wanted to bring birds back into the game, man. They're so easy to just shoot down from the sky and then just get a quick meal from. But yeah, if you join the stream and you're not sure what we're doing, we are now on Pure Scum PvP server. So that's why we're on a new character. We've also started on a, just a basic 3 3 3 3. Advanced archery, medium, medium on running. Pull cool down here. Dexterity is just advanced stealth and intelligence. I took a medium medical and a medium survival. So, yeah, just pretty basic setup, but thought we may as well spice the uh, streams up a little bit, have a bit of PvP in, involved in it. One of the six must be sensible and convince the other five not to go there yet. <laughs> it's a battle, mate. It's a battle. Oh, there you go. Self an AK with no no mag. But I mean, better than nothing, isn't it? Go sell that at the trader for a bit of money, I guess. 
lovely view from up here, though, isn't it? Hey, isn't it nice? Isn't it nice up here? Oh, I've got to go all the way back down now. <laughs> Was it really worth it? Was it really worth the AK? I mean, you've got these ones as well, but it's pretty long going around searching them, isn't it? Yeah. We just search the building quick and then head off. Don't know where to go though. We're gonna have to avoid this area here, so we're gonna have to come out this way. I mean, we could go up to here and search this area. It's always a plan. It's a military base of sorts, so we can find some decent gear up there usually. There's a few sheds and things up there that hold some decent crates. Hmm. Then again, there are mechs up there. And knowing my brain cells, they'll alert them. And then a player will come running over. <laughs> should, we, uh, should we learn to walk before we can run? Hey. Do a bit of small looting first. Try and get uh, some decent stuff going. And then we'll go to more popular areas, I think. No point running round in oranges, is there? On pure scum B3 area. What, you're on pure scum now. Oh, I want to know why you aren't freezing yet. I started a solo game this morning and landed in more temperate zone B2 and was cold immediately. Good, good point there actually, Mary. I didn't even notice that. That's my 36.6. And I'm not even that much layered up either, to be fair. Hmm. It must be a warm day on the island, Mary. Wait until the sun goes down and then uh, I guarantee you I'll be freezing my tits off, mate. <laughs> Nearly. I don't think we've got long left of uh, daylight either. Must be closer to the sun all the way up there. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. Must be it. I was saying that though, it would be colder up here than it would be down below it. Because of the wind. Then again, there isn't much wind at the moment, so. Pretty clear day as well. It must just be a warmer day, my friend. Do you know what? I've had a long week this week. I've been looking forward to streaming to you lot nice chill stream. It's a nice way to end my week every week at the moment. It gives me an opportunity to uh, obviously talk to some of you guys, see how your week's been, have a catch up and stuff as well, which is always nice. It's nice to know that you're all doing all right. Yeah, I'm on. Is that for me? That was for me, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I told you when I come down from here, there'll be a horde waiting for me. And was I right? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't make the fireplace meeting last week. I had dinner and fell asleep. Yeah, no, that's fine, Murray. I, I assumed you may have um, nodded off. But don't worry. Fireplace meetings are just there for you to come and go as you please. It's not a mandatory thing for you guys, obviously. This horde's going to be fun to deal with now, though. wonder how many are down here waiting for me. Oh, shit, is this the last level? No, it's not, all right. I was going to say, I'm just going to just come down this ladder on top of them all. Oh my god. Why? Why is there so many of them? <laughs> Why? <laughs> we could try and outrun them. I've only got 12 arrows, so... we got 2... 3, 4, 5, 6... 
Six. Seven, maybe. Try and take out a few of them. Fast ones, I guess. Take the fast ones out. We'll probably make a run for it, because the slow ones are... Uh, slow. Oh, missed you. Maybe I'll do it that one there, am I? Shut up. Stop screaming. <laughs> it's distracting more. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right. Uh, I've got four hours left. This is not going to go well. <laughs> oh. oh, I was going to say I could jump onto this, but then there's no way down. I hurt myself too much jumping down from there. Just sit here for a second, be quiet. Maybe they'll uh, bugger off. All the heathens are waiting for me. Yeah, I know. They just knew I was here, mate. I just knew it. They're always watching. Some of them still making their way to you, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Pulled all reinforcements in from the area. Mate, yes, H and Rocco. A zip line from the top of this to that building would be lovely, mate. That'd be such a great idea. The puppets hit hard on this server, that's the only issue, guys. Like our single player right now would have already gone down and just ran. But like a good three or four hits from one of these guys and I'm dead. There's four of them there. God damn it, they all followed me over here. Need to get the fast ones out of the way. Not this guy yet. You two are heavies. It sounds like there's more underneath me though. Oh! <laughs> I thought I fell off then. <laughs> Can't aim down low enough. God damn it. Why is there another one? Oh, I killed them all. <laughs> Alright, stay there. Stay there for me, buddy. No, stop following me. Stay there. Right. Not bothered about the heavies. I can run away from them. I have to get down and be able to run quick enough. <laughs> right, let's try it, shall we? This will be fun. It's going to be waiting for me. I have to jump and then run. Steady. Steady. Oh, another horde. Right, go, go, go. Fuck that. I'm out. I'm out. See you later. Quick, before the skinnies turn up. Don't jump over the rocks and break your legs either, mate. Bloody hell. Yeah, come on. Let's go. I've had enough. I've had enough this place. <laughs> I ain't got enough arrows to deal with another horde. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. They're chasing me. No. Jump into the water. They still chase me though. All right, they're giving up. I think. I think I lost them. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. <laughs> oh, I can't go this way, can I? Bollocks. All right, I'm gonna have to go up and around. Ah, long. Make some more arrows at some other point. 
I mean, if a player comes along now and kills me, I think they'd be doing me a favour, wouldn't they? <laughs> We've got like one arrow left. Yeah, one arrow left. Make some more arrows here. There's a couple of bushes. It's this thing with the hordes. The only thing I don't like with these hordes is that they've already despawned. Whereas realistically, that whole horde should be in this area still. But yeah, it's not. That's the only thing I sort of dislike about the whole encounter system. God damn it. Maybe a bloody knife. Another one. Another one. Another one. Hello, Mo. Hello. Welcome, welcome. And hello, everyone. Go to the power room, take the good stuff, but with arrows. Yeah. That's <laughs> why so I say I was going to about to come down and go over to that building, but then uh, I had a horde turn up. And then another horde turn up, and I've got one arrow left. So <laughs> I thought I'd better make some more arrows quicker. Oh, well, this is going to be fun. Or oh, talking of coffee, I'll have a sip of my coffee, won't I? That'd be good. Do this one-handed. So the white shoes and the bright orange is your stealth uniform. Exactly that, my friend. Exactly that. <laughs> I'm trying not to freeze my ass off before I uh, get out of this area, but once we get out of the snow biome, I can strip them off. But I'm also hoping that... I'd find some clothes in this building here before we uh, come across any players. Let's have a sticks go. Oh, yeah. Make some more sticks quickly. Why I have to pull up a log and I have strength to do that? <laughs> there are some logs provided if you can find some space. If not, take a seat on the floor. It's comfy enough. Mother Nature will uh, comfort your butt. Another bush. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> I don't know why that family guy bitch is coming to my head then, but... <laughs> I'm horrible at games like this. Why is that? Are you one of my uh, armor subscribers? True S armor. Nice. Uh, welcome in as well, by the way. I haven't said that already. Another bloody knife. Bloody hell, these stone knives are a load of crap, aren't they? James Woods, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, he's candy. <laughs> My brain does that so much. Like, I'll say something or hear someone say something and it just relates straight to, like, a meme or, like, an old episode of something I've watched. I'm like, oh. <laughs> right, got 13 arrows. Still don't think that'd be enough for me. <laughs> Yo, Urban, if you want to go to the bunker in that sector, take care because the spawns there is bugged. Yeah, I have heard about um, the bunker spawns being a bit naff at the moment. To be honest, I haven't actually gone in a bunker in a good couple of months. They are difficult solo. It's so much easier when you've got people with you. 
but they're the sort of thing you need to take your time with. Especially if you don't want to get jumped by like 20 razors. But again, it depends on the server. Like this server, I'm pretty sure Fozzie's designed the bunkers to be more difficult on the server than what they generally are anyway. So, yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> Kill one puppet and spawns another and another and another in the same place. Oh bloody hell! Yeah, I think uh, I think what we'll do then is we'll avoid bunkers for now. <laughs> I was hoping for a patch this week because we didn't have a dev update, so I was thinking maybe they're going to give us another patch, but we didn't get one. But they did obviously announce the uh, the new website and things like this, so maybe that's what they meant by. We'll see them sooner than we think. But yeah. I was hoping for another big patch. If I'm completely honest. But it's alright. Hopefully we get a dev, dev update tomorrow. See what they've been up to. See what they're doing with their lives. It's always nice to keep up the date with things. Hello, puppet, my old friend. You've got some trousers or something for me, mate. Maybe do. Might as well put them on. My oranges ain't got nothing in them anyway. Hope the next patch works better than this yeah i mean it did fix quite a few different things um but i mean with with most patches and things with this it seems to obviously they fix like 10 things and it breaks two things at the same time so then we've got to fix those other two things as well as fix another 10 things like <laughs> i don't get me wrong like i don't have the first clue about dev you know dev work and stuff like this so you know, it, it, my brain cells would not be able to do it myself, but it's a complicated game. There is so much to this. But obviously, I, I think that's why they've changed around things, uh, systems and things like this. Obviously, creating the encounter manager to alleviate performance issues. Obviously, not having three, four different systems running something that can be ran on one system. But they're going to have teething issues with it, especially with a new system. Do you know what? That'll be enough. That'll be enough. Pick that one up as well. Why not? When it gets dark, I'll um, put up the gamma a bit, guys, so you can see still. That's fun. Be above me, right? Even being that close. These doors don't open, so they got to be above me. There's three of them here. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, should we just run around and make them run down here? No, actually, let's not do that. That was a hard to come in, wasn't it? That'd be stupid of me to do it. I'm surrounded by beeping. There's one. Oh, shit. Okay. All dead. Good job, Lee. It's going to get dark pretty quick. Give me a second. Let me just uh, turn up the gamma for you guys.
Da -da -da -da. One of these buttons does it. I'm telling you, it is one of them. I don't know if that's bright enough for you guys. If it's not, I can turn up a bit more. Should be good. All right. We'll go with this for now then. If it's too bright or gets a bit iffy, then let me know. And I'll mess around with it a bit. It's good like that. Nice. Nice. Norse. Uh, do you know what? Let's keep this on. Stop it. Need to find my good old friend Fred, don't we? Mate. See, some places I barely go to and I forget where everything is. It's fine. We'll have a little search around, shall we? See what we can find. Absolutely nothing in here. Oh? What's the bloody point, mate? I've been searchable in the bloody room. Knife. That'd be good. Do you know what? Let's cut this up. Get rid of that for now. I'm not going to need a pen for a while. Take a rag with us. In case we need it. There's got to be some clothes in here for me somewhere. Surely. Surely. Yeah, who wants a CD bloody player, eh? Not me. Definitely not me, mate. Come on. Come on. Oh, I don't want a bloody car repair kit. Why do I want that for? Come on. That's just silly, isn't it, mate? Who would want one of them? All the way out here with no bloody car. No water. It's lucky we can uh, fill up on snow there, isn't it? Lovely, jubbly. It's a bit broken, but it'll do. Nice. Need to find Fred. Make a whole stop. We could make a uh, quiver as well. I mean, we could make a quiver now, but it wouldn't be big enough. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. Damn on. Give me some more loot. Loot, scoot, and boot. Out of here then. Wee. I'll take some nails and bolt. Why not? Might need them. No, nothing. Nada. Nada thing. Be nothing up here either. Okay, just checking. <laughs> so, where's that door open for? Yeah, bullets. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 762 on me, aren't I? <laughs> Damn it, we got no bloody 
screwdrivers though. I'll take that. It's a drink. In the worst case, it's a bottle. I wish you could put snowballs inside empty bottles and make water bottles. That to me makes sense. You know, if I was out here and I had an empty bottle, I'd just be shoving snow inside it. To let it melt. There you go, you got yourself some water. Come on. There's going to be a piece of thread around here somewhere, isn't there? Gotta be. Hello? Fred? Where are you, buddy? Oh, candy bob. Thank you very much. Take some of that, my friend. Food. Give me all the food. I don't know why that song's stuck in my head. It's been stuck in my head all day. <laughs> right, do you know what? Let's uh, get the hell out of there. Pretty sure we've searched the, uh, the good places. Pretty sure. Came out of this end building. You know what? Take them though. <laughs> Why not? No room. No room. Oh well, you're right. We've only got four bullets for our AK, but better than nothing, I guess. My fat ass through that gap. All for nothing. <laughs> God damn it. Bit look down here. As we ran straight upstairs, didn't we? Never know. Fred might be hiding down here by the door somewhere. Come on, you donkey. Where are you? Alright, fine. I don't even want a piece of thread anyway. I want uh, some nails. That's what I want. Always worth searching cars now as well. You don't just get metal in them. Oh, hello, friend. Did I alert you? Sorry? Oh, okay. I thought that went straight through him then. <laughs> so what? Hush now, friend. Meh. Come on. Bloody hell, mate. Bloody hell. Even any scrap in there. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Screwdriver. My bloody, uh, yeah, stuff there, I believe it now. Got no bobby pins or anything anyway. Do you know what? Let's get out of the snow biome, I think. Let's go head south. Well, let's not head south yet. Let's head this way first. And go up and around. My brain cell is still telling me to go up here, but I don't know. <laughs> Here. 
mean, we don't stand out like a sore thumb at all. What are you on about? This game kills me slightly less quickly than DayZ. <laughs> Do you know what? I haven't played DayZ in quite some time, to be fair. I used to play the standalone version quite a lot. Um, but when Bohemia took it over, I haven't really played much of it. I did buy it, played it a little bit, but I never really got back into it. I think it's because I started playing Scum. And nothing sort of itches my, you know, survival game like Scum does. Do we go to the military base or do we head out of the snow biome? What do we do, guys? What do we do? What do we do? What I do know is I need some food. AZ, too many random guys killing me, leading me to play, leading to me playing other games out of frustration. <laughs> I mean, you find it with most games, though, don't you? Unless you're playing like solo single player. But Anti Starzy is a fun one to get into if you're solo in it. But again, it depends if you're uh, into your armor or not. But yeah, I've been really enjoying that lately. Oh, there you go, Mary. It's starting to freeze now. Now it's night time. It's getting chilly. Alright, you'd have to tell me twice, mate. I heard you the first time. Bloody hell. Getting that cold, are you? Let me get some more coffee brewing. Nice, thank you very much. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, then uh, smash that like button for me, please. It really does help the stream. and It'll push it out to some more people. And I would uh, be very thankful of that. And again, if you're not subscribed already, then slap that subscribe button down below for me as well. We are, I believe, 50 subs away from our 3K mark at the moment. So it'd be nice to try and hit that today. Coffee. I love, I love a good coffee, I tell you. Oh, my brain cells are itching me. They're telling me to go this way. So we're going to go up to this base. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to loot this place up up here, I think. It is quite good for loot. Whether or not there'll be players up here is another question. So why not? Let's just go for it. I'm really interested in the anti-Stasi mode. Yeah, honestly, man, if, if, if you haven't tried it yet, then play it. It's, it's a great little game mode. It's been really fun. Obviously, I only put in what... I two three hours a week sort of thing into it um the day before sort of editing recording sort of that sort of thing but if i could put more time into it honestly i would i'd be doing like two episodes a week on that if i had the time for it And the thing is with um, anti Stasi as well, it's quite a long-winded process, especially if you are solo. Like, I think we're on episode 10 or maybe 11 now, and I haven't even got through one third of the map, you know, so it's going to take you a while to do it. But again, it depends how much time you're putting into it. Oh, a little reset. little reset. Just a little reset. Bit a second and it'll uh, come back in yeah but um obviously after may when i'm back from holiday hopefully i can get three evenings a week free rather than just the one so i'm planning obviously keep the sunday streams as scum i'm gonna do scum sundays and then i'm thinking about doing an armor 
stream as well one one day a week so yeah i think that'd be nice to do a stream of anti-stasi every once in a while or once a week sort of thing as well as the episode that way as well it gets through it a bit quicker and then we can move on to other things like inserting new mods into the game we could try a different map and things like that as well because it is definitely something i want to continue doing um yeah yeah armor stream is definitely something i am planning on doing man for sure um just at the moment i just don't have the time unfortunately going away on holiday in may so i need all the money i can get for spending money etc just while we're away and then once i'm back i can cut my days down a bit it'd be nice to uh, spend some time with the missus as well because obviously with her working in the daytime i work evenings we don't see each other. obviously tonight i'll see her for a few hours after the meeting and we'll chill and do some uh watch some tv watch a series that we're watching at the moment for a few hours but that's like the only quality time i get with my partner at the moment throughout the week is on sunday evenings <laughs> so it'd be nice as well to have that you know do two streams a week and then that extra evening i've got is is nice to then spend with with, with the family so but yeah for sure we'll definitely be doing a armor stream i've got a few more ideas for armor content as well that's going to be coming out hopefully over the next few weeks again trying to find the time to get them recorded and edited um bit of an issue but yeah after may things will calm down a bit and then we'll have a bit more time to do it get all this stuff out for you so yeah it'd be good armor's definitely something i'm sticking to now because it's uh i found a love for that again you know I, I haven't played it for about three years and i jumped back into it about six months ago and absolutely loved it so yeah andy sarsley has definitely found a new love for that game <laughs> But I did speak to one of the um, developers for that mod and asked them if they were going to port it over to the new Reforger. Because I think Anti-Stasi in Reforger would be amazing. But they said because it's like a testing game, essentially, they're not going to do it. So hopefully when Armour 4 comes along, we'll get an Anti-Stasi in Armour 4. But yeah, I'm having fun in a, you know, a 12, 13-year-old game at the moment that's really playable. <laughs> Ancient Rocco, Fred will be at the military base. He will indeed, my friend. He will indeed. So will the mechs. Trying to give me cookies. So let's jump back in and see if it's reset now. I don't want no cookies. I'm not here for the cookies, alright? What's the difference between Reforger and Armour 3? The main difference is Reforger came out uh, a year and a half ago, whereas Armour 3 came out 13 years ago nearly. So graphically, it's like night and day. Like when I first jumped into Armour Reforger after playing Armour 3 again, I was shocked at the just the general beauty of it. Like going from Armour 3 to Reforger is, as I said, night and day. It's amazing. Um, to be honest, mate, I would I would personally get Armour 3 because there's so much to it and obviously the modding community and everything is there's so much more you can get out of it at the current time. Um, with Reforger, as I said, it is it's essentially a testing phase of for Reforger. So what they basically did was um, I think it was the original Armour was based in where Armour Reforger is based now. So what they did, they wanted to go back to that use it as essentially a testing phase and a testing game for Armour 4. So what they're doing is basically creating a game, testing loads of things in it, and what works they're going to put into Armour 4. I think that's essentially what they're doing with it. But obviously the modern community is very active in Reforger as well. There are a lot of things to do in Reforger. But I mean, both of them personally you can pick up relatively cheap, especially when they go on sale. Um... But yeah, I, I would I would sway towards Armour 3, personally, just because of the scale of it, compared to Armour Reforger at the moment. But if you want something that's a bit more up-to-date, uh, graphically-wise and stuff like that, then obviously go for Reforger. They're still very active, obviously, servers and stuff on there. Bloody, I'm getting a lot of lag here. Um, yeah, there's obviously a lot of servers that are active, but a lot of them are modded. 
but the modding system, um, the way you obviously download your mods in Reforger is very simple. Same as, as Armour 3, obviously, on the uh, Steam Workshop, but... Pretty much, yeah, it's, it's like a it's like a pre-beta, a pre like you're saying, yeah, in essence. But obviously, the game works how it should be. Um, it's a lot better now than it was a year, year and a half ago when it first came out. There's a lot more to it now. But yeah, personally, I would I would go for Armour 3, especially if you've not played any of the Armour series before. Go for Armour 3, because you'll learn a lot from that. Rather than, um, you, you'll learn the base game, essentially, um, of what Armour's about. See, Armour 3 Forge is a little bit different now. But yeah, it all depends on what, what you want to get out of it, really. I mean, if you want to Get something a bit more modern. Um, that still has like servers and stuff on it. Then yeah, Reforge is a good one because there is a decent modern community there. But I feel like the modern community in Armor Three is very well established now, with the amount you can get out of it. Let's quickly get in here, get all this crap, get the fuck out of it. Bloody chainsaw, mate. What am I fucking chainsaw for? <laughs> it's not a bad find, but I don't want it. We're miles away from a trader, aren't we? So there's no point really taking it all the way down here. Get, what is it, 900 quid or something for it? Really a massive bother. I feel that mech usually comes back quicker than that. I'll put my head down now and I'll come around the corner. Yep, like that. <laughs> See me. Give him a second, he'll go away again. I forgot about the mechs in this game. Yeah, man, they are a pain in the arse in these places, I tell you. It's all right if you, if you study them long enough. Obviously, they just have a certain pattern to them, so you can get around them without making noise, but my brain cells aren't patient enough to try and study them like that. Right. <laughs> I'm just quickly like, yep, yeah, that's it. Right, go. Like Armour 3 solo campaigns. Yeah, they're decent, man. Multiplayer eludes me. Big learning curve. It can be, but again, with, with multiplayer, you're going to find that a lot of multiplayer servers, especially in Armour 3, have mods. Like, Ace Mod alone adds so much to the game. Like, that's a learning curve in itself. Oh, shit. <laughs> he came back way quicker than last time. Um... Yeah, obviously Armour 3 in itself is, is a learning curve, but when you start adding like things like Ace Mod and stuff like that, then yeah, it becomes uh, like that mod alone is like a game itself. So there's a lot to learn with it, but I did a, I played in a Milsim unit for a while, a few years back, which was great fun. So I learned quite a lot from Armour just doing that. Bag. I'm not really interested in another bag. Oh shit. He saw me. Oh shit. He saw me. Bollocks. <laughs> Just don't fire any grenades at me, please, mate. Please. Ugh. See, I knew it would happen. My, my brain cells just aren't made for mechs, man. <laughs> they just spot me all the time. Go on, do your business, mate, and bugger off. Give me a second. It's my, my blur motion isn't on, is it? Shouldn't be. It's off. I keep. That's another bug I've seen as well recently. Sometimes on the mechs or moving items, like even when you're swinging an axe. 
it becomes like you get this blur effect off it, like you see it. It's like a trail behind them. Weird. But yeah, another thing I've noticed recently. But I know they've been messing around with textures and a load of other stuff, so. Mm. Again, I, I, I know for a fact that 1.0 isn't going to be anytime soon, guys. All right? I'll tell you that now. I know it's not going to be before May. So I did ask that question to the dev. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going away in May, so. You motherfucker. I'd, uh. I didn't say that to him. I said, <laughs> I said I'd appreciate it if you didn't drop it in May because uh, I'm away for two weeks and I, I'd want to be here for it. And he said, oh, you don't have to worry about that. So we shouldn't see it before May. Um, but again, even I said we probably won't see it until end of Q3 at the earliest. There is so much they need to do to scum to get it to a, a decent sort of place. Especially if they're thinking about console release on 1.0. Then, yeah. There's there's a lot of sort of performance things they need to sort out. There's still quite a lot to add into the game itself. Let's go check the back one. Can I... Rather than running all the way around this way. Yeah, let's go into the workshop. Let's run back round. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to 1.0. I think the armed NPCs when they come into this are going to be a massive game changer. I think it's going to change the way you play this game entirely. I'm interested about this um, movement rework they're doing as well for the characters. Because I've always found that they're so like skittish, if you know what I mean. Like when I'm running forward at a full sprint, I don't know anyone that can do this. Like this sort of motion when they're running, it's weird. Especially with jumping as well. I feel like jumping's way too much. You see too many videos online of people jumping into bases. Off of like a rock or something. It's mad how far some people can jump. Just because obviously the others. The um. When you first log into Scum. Your first jump you get is like. A stupidly like super cyan fucking jump. 400 meters. So. That's something that they obviously need to sort out. But it'd be nice to see what they do with it and how it actually comes out. But we are only streaming until 6 o'clock today, guys. Just because my partner gets home at 3 today from work. So I didn't have, obviously, as much time as I did last week. That is going to be the same for next week. He just shoot at me, then. Shooting at someone else. Shooting at me, aren't you? Through that whole building. There's no way you saw me through that whole building, mate. Did you see me through that window? I know the mechs have been a little bit buggy recently as well with what they're seeing. Like seeing through bloody buildings and walls and stuff. So, I'm not sure if he's seeing me through the wall or if he's just seeing me as he's looking through there, if you know what I mean. Take that MRE, thank you. Where the hell did that just go? Thank you very much. Need to find Fred. Really need to find Fred. Come on, where are you? He's going to see me over here. Guarantee it. <laughs> no. I want Fred. Take another MRE. Uh, do you know what? Get rid of nothing for now. Let's reload this. Pick 
like that. Time is it there? Because I need to do some calculation as when 6 p.m. is because it's 11.07 here. <laughs> yeah, it's quarter past four at the moment here. If I'm correct in thinking we're still GMT, I believe. I might be wrong in that. My time zone may have changed now because the uh, clock's changed, didn't it? But yeah, it's quarter past four here. So I'll be streaming for another hour and 45 minutes. So, yeah, about 1pm 1, 1 for you. BST, that's it. I knew it was one or the other. <laughs> Pretty standard time now, isn't it? Yeah. Summertime, whatever one it is. Ah, oh, mate. God damn it. Well, yeah, bugger off that way. Thank you. I was about to say I may be caught here, but he didn't see me. Good man. That mecha got to be worried about seeing me. Well, at least we've got a shotgun now as well. A decent find. Another mech somewhere around it. I'm sure, he's on the right side of this build up. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Go on, turn around, bugger off. Thank you very much. Beer. I've been finding so many beers in the last couple of weeks. They're just everywhere now. Jubbly. See me. Oh shit. Damn right. No, I knew it. I knew it. I knew you'd fucking see me, you bastard. Oh, 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 oh. I got one tapped. <laughs> oh, mate, he one tapped me. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, mate, I even got money to go to a sector respawn and go get my stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm on the east coast of America. America! America! Fuck yeah! Oh, mate, I need to watch Team America again. I haven't seen that in ages. See what I mean about my brain? I read something and I'm like, it, it links me to a film or something I've watched. Uh, gets confusing. Wish they could, wish they would just leave time alone. Well, apparently the world's lost a second for the first time ever or something. It's going to lose a second for the first time ever. Yeah, we need an internet standard time. <laughs> that is very true. Well, it's a designated time in a matter where you're in the world. We stream game time. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully we get, hopefully we get in the same area. We'll probably be down south now. What a guess that was, eh? Right by the fat and scrap yard. It's not ideal, but I mean, we'd make ourselves a shotty, couldn't we? Oh, so annoying. I'm so far away from my stuff. not really worth me running all the way back up there, is it? I can't believe that mech one tapped me, man. <laughs> I 
I'm uh, never wearing one of those medical helmets again in my life. He must have headshotted me. It must have gone straight through the helmet. Bank card. Get rid of it. Dumbass. Oh, God damn it. I haven't got bow and arrow. Oh, <laughs> that's what I hate about this. The one thing I hate about dying, man. Got to do all this shite again. God damn it. God damn it. First death on the server. And it wasn't even a player. And then again, that doesn't surprise me, to be honest, the way I play. <laughs> Oh, uh, we may as well have some fun with it. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to make a base or anything anytime soon. We'll just go nomad for a while. God. Damn it. We need for a shotgun, metal pipe. Uh, no. It no, it's a metal pipe. Bolt. Scrap. Duct tape. And then we can make that in there because there's an area we can actually build it. So it's fine by me. We'll make ourselves an improvised shotgun for now then. <laughs> Pretty sure we find some gunpowder here. And then all we need is to find some. Shells. Help us in the right bit. Partridge. That's the word I'm looking for. Paper. Scrap. Oh, I need a lead plate. Hmm. Maybe a bit of a pain in the ass, but probably fine. But it's probably make them. What am I doing with my life? Get rid of that. That's why. I'm getting confused with it. Oh, come on. Still haven't added that. My bloody favourites. Dumbass. God damn it. Usually I'm not annoyed about dying, but... That annoyed me how that mech just one-banged me then. <laughs> oh, mate. I don't know what. It's too warm down here, wasn't it? Let's do that first. Wrong button. Ah, uh, make ourselves another bag then, shall we? Make some arrows and then we'll go. At least here we don't have to search around for bushes. We're just surrounded by them. I'm missing for that. More rope. More bloody rope. Bloody hell, mate. Oh, my knife. Oh, my knife. No. No. Please. Need to find some rocks. Fucking dark, man. <laughs> it's alright for you guys. You can see. I can't. <laughs> oh. No. Ah, come on. It's got to be some rocks around here somewhere. I'm going to lose all my bandages and everything that I've just cut up. I can't remember where they are. <laughs> Rocks? No. Oh, come on. There's some rocks here. Somewhere. There we go. Nice. Nice. If you're new in the stream, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. Take a seat by the fireplace. Get yourself comfortable. We are playing on a PvP server now. 
playing on pure scum. I think I put the link in the description. I think. If not, I will add it afterwards. It's the same server we play on for the series, so put it that way. Finally. Right, let's get this bag made, get some arrows made, and we'll get in the scrapyard. Have a little look around. Last time I come to the scrapyard, I didn't find a single metal pipe. So I'm not holding out hope, but we can make ourselves a little improvised shotgun before we leave here. That'll be a uh, bonus, I guess. To be honest, we could head down to here. It's an active bunker, isn't it? Don't know how active bunker spawns are at the moment, but we could certainly have a look, couldn't we? We can find guns and scrapyard in cars. Really? I haven't yet to find a gun in a car yet. Yeah, I was up here the other day and the majority of stuff I found was just scrap. Um found a few little useful bits. I found a, a 20 out of 40 yellow screwdriver in one of the car stacks. So that's what I'm hoping to find here is another yellow screwdriver. So I'm definitely going to find some bobby pins here. I'll tell you that now for a fact. But if we can find a screwdriver, it may be worth just running straight down to here. Just stack up on some arrows. Get down to the active bunker. At least I don't have to deal with razors and stuff down there, do we? Oh, God damn it. I need another bloody knife. Oh, this is stressing me out. <laughs> I fucking hate this game sometimes. Why? Why? Why would you do this to me, huh? Give me a damn rock. Give me another damn stone. Have a good look around there. Around the uh, car stacks and stuff. See if we can find anything decent. Oh, sorry, a burping. I've got gaps in my guts. I thought that was the knife I just made got destroyed then. I was like, you're taking the piss, mate. <laughs> and remember, guys, if you haven't already, slap that like button for me. I'm not sure how many uh, subs we're on at the moment because I am a monitor down, so I'm only using the two. And I have not got the, uh, the stream stuff up on the monitor at the moment. Why did I drop that? Let's keep that for now. Let's not be silly about this, eh? You know what? Let's pick that up. Just in case. Make some more arrows. I don't think 10 will be enough. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's go. Members as well. Yeah, we're going to have a fireplace meeting later at 7pm. So if you are a member that is recluse and higher, make sure you join the Discord. I'll give you access to the members section. Um, and then you can join us in the fireplace meetings. We are going to be doing a live stream on the 15th as well next Sunday. Actually, no, we might have to, hmm, might be a bit of an issue with that because my partner will be working late again and we've got the normal stream. So we may have to postpone that for another day. We were going to do a Q&A for all members, so just a members only stream, just before we go into this normal sort of live stream that we're doing now. That's inclusive of all members, obviously. Um, the fireplace meetings are just recluse and higher. But yeah, I'm going to have to have a think about that now because 
obviously next Sunday my partner's working till half past two and I start streaming at three so I'm not gonna have time to do the Q&A before like I was planning on to I wasn't supposed to be working my brain cells have only just put two and two together unfortunately <laughs> right, let's get rid of that one you know what get rid of that one let's make a new one up take that with us Have a sip of coffee, a little bit of coffee. Oi. Oh, I shouldn't be drinking coffee so late to be here, but ah, I'd be right. Can't can't knock a good coffee, can you? Right, let's get in the scrappy then, shall we? A little look around. So I say we need a piece of rubber for something, but let's make a metal sword. So we'll take that actually, just for now. We'll take them, because if we do make a shotgun. And I've got shotgun shells for it. Lovely, jubbly. So hopefully we can find a metal pipe here. If we can't, then bugger it. But yeah, you can find um uh, da -da -da -da, the uh, my my I've just my my brain just went blank then. <laughs> oh we need a needle. We need so much stuff, but we've got no room to carry anything. Let's uh da -da 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 -da. We need for this one stick five ranks. I'm not gonna be able to make that. God damn it. Nice new hat. Handle there. I should really do some praying, but I'm gonna have to light it with. So uh, we won't do that for now. Duct tape. Lots of bolts. Oh, so, so good stuff that I should be taking with me, but... Oh, no bloody room, mate. Lock. Toolbox. Hello, friend. Near you out there. Bloody pickaxe. Normal axe. Take that, thank you very much. And a coffee. Coffee. Hey, I'm walking here. Sorry, that was probably atrocious. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Pretty sure we've got the strength for that. Yeah, cool. Nice little upgrade. I want that. One bag in here though. Come on. Oh. Take that one. Thanking you very much. Take them. Thanking you very much. Nah. Don't want a mask. I'm no furry, mate. Yeah, over here, plugs. Oi. Lito, nice to see you, buddy. How's it going? How's your week been so far, mate? Welcome to the stream, my friend. God damn it. Not that got loud out there, didn't it? Those bloody bugs. 
All right. Let's just have a think for a second. Where did that needle go? There was a needle over here. Let's just go grab that quickly. Take that. Still need to find Fred. Put that one on. Blend in a bit better. Fred. Come on, mate. Stop messing me around. It's been an hour and a half and I haven't found a single piece of bread. <laughs> Go upstairs. Oh, hello, friend. I saw you. I saw you over there. Come on. Come on. All these bloody grills around here. I don't want them. Oh, let's have a little munch first, shall we? Antonio, hardcore. Welcome in, Antonio. How you doing, mate? And yeah, we are playing on a hardcore server. We are on your scum. So yeah, should be fun today. Added a bit more of a uh, spice to the stream. Never know, we might come across another player. And then die. <laughs> I got faith. In nothing. Nothing, right? Nothing. <laughs> uh, hello? Cook book for me? Thanks. I don't want it though. Need a bag. Or oh, a metal pipe would be nice. Box of bolts and a box of nails. Need to find Fred. Can't do much without Fred. Thank you very much. Hide that bow a bit better. Nails. Mate, there's so many nails and stuff around it. I ain't got room to take it. Give me what I'm searching for, please. Like, I don't want a chainsaw. <laughs> but I'm not asking for a lot, right? I'm asking for a, a small piece of thread. That is all. Come on, Doris. Bloody hell. Keep doing me life. God damn it. I mean, even some fishing line will do. Ugh. Stuff you then, mate. Another box. Mate, I'd be living right now. If I had a bloody hiking bag, I tell you. Keep that. Uh, see all of that. This tastes funny. It's fifty-two percent, mate. It shouldn't taste that funny. Starving people in this world, and you're complaining about some half rotten candy, mate. The problem. Was doing okay, have a whole weekend in abnormal plus 27 Celsius. What else can you ask? Damn, son. I can't wait to go on holiday, man. <laughs> I need some sun and some peace. <laughs> a nice beach with a beer. That'd be, oh, oh. Dreaming about it already. Hope your week was well as well. Yeah, my week's just been busy, bud. Had a lot going on. Obviously working a lot, so trying to keep up with everything on YouTube as well before I go away. Got a lot of um, recording to do. I need to back up some stuff so then I can obviously record, edit four episodes while I'm away for this scum series. And then I need to do two armor videos as well for that two weeks that I'm away. Yeah, it's uh, very busy. But I can't obviously pre record too early because they're both continuing series. So it's hard for me to get stuff backed up from. Too early on. God damn. Do you know what? I really want to take that silver lock just in case we come across a car. I'm sure that was silver a second ago, was it not? Nah. Guys, please. Okay. <laughs> I was going, I thought I was going mad then. I was like, no, nah, that was definitely a silver lock. <laughs> it was in here, we've been in there. Been in there. 
Right. Let's have a little mooch around, shall we? Oh, stacks are on the far end, I think. Yeah. Right, let's go up here then. Have a little look around at these car stacks. I've searched these on the way up. Guarantee we won't find a metal pipe anywhere in this place, though. Oh, he says. Oh, damn it. You know what? Let's get rid of them for now. Oh, God damn it. That wasn't long enough. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right, I'll do it this way then. Put that in there. Put that on my back. Come back for those arrows if we need to. Need some scrap though, don't we? Can't even carry that. All right. Where's the shed with lathe? So that one over there. Let's go. Pretty sure we've got everything we need for it. Except from the scrap. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, two little logs. Bolts. The amount of bolts we found, we've not even picked any up. Bell end. Got a box of bolts though, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Called myself a bell end for no reason. Hey. Tuna. I'll come back for that in a second. Hello? Oh, no one in there. Okay, my mic is actually working as well. Good. Having some major issues with that recently. So, I need two bits of scrap. And then two small logs. Easy enough. Don't get it off this one, we'll get it off that one. Who know? Just got to pick and drag this. Where'd it go? Boy oh, disappeared in the ground then. Rude. Alright, so toolbox, two of them, bolts, two bits of scrap. Got our metal pipe on us. Of course, of course the scrap's gonna be a mile away. Damn on. Pretty sure that's all we need. Ah, oh, duct tape. Bollocks. Alright. You know what? Leave that there for a second. Let's go find some duct tape. Bound to be some here somewhere, isn't there? Probably in the car stacks, if anywhere, I'm going to find it. Rather than these piles. Yeah, do you know what? Let's go straight to the car stacks. Or oh, stuck then. There's a the time. Half past 12, mate. Bloody hell. Been four slots there, though. Let's take that over there. Come on, bit of duct tape. Six uses, yeah, I do. Get rid of you for now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get ourselves a shotgun made up. Got some rounds for it as well, which is good. At least that way we've got a weapon to uh ourselves with if we need to. Lovely jubbly. Old Rover Games, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you, bud. Antonio, well, military loot at the back of this building. I just finished work, 12 hour shift. Damn, son. Yeah, I'm doing those long ass shifts at the moment. It's not fun, man. It really isn't. <laughs> I feel for you, man. 
I used to be a chef and I used to work 16 hour days. Mate, it's to kill me. Absolutely kill me. Right, let's go back to the car stacks. Hopefully, we'll find Fred over there. Now I've said it, we probably won't. But it's worth looking at. We may as well. We might find some other goodies over here as well. Not those type of goodies. Don't need that type of goodie. Definitely not yet anyway. 7% colon. Nah, we're not getting any goodies anytime soon. Hello? Excuse me. Thank you. Come on. Where are you? Found a drill and a rebar cutter here so far. It made us a workbench. Hello, friend. Oh, two of ten. It's not enough. You're right, though, mate. I'm going to stay over there. Leave me alone. Thank you. about you? Have you seen my mate Fred? Hey, eh? Looking for him all bloody day. Oh. Right. Gamble. Gamble. Four ten. Bloody hell, mate. Come on. Oh. Not good enough, man. Not good enough. Only 300 people serve food today, mate. I know that feeling, man. <laughs> I used to do like 200 covers a day. Oh, it was horrible. It's the one reason I stopped working in kitchen and hospitality, man. It's just, I couldn't deal with it, man. It's too stressful. Especially when you've got people having to go at you for things that aren't even your issue. <laughs> yeah, I worked in hospitality for years. I did kitchen work for like four years. Um, And then I was bartender for a while I was a supervisor in a hotel and then I was an assistant manager in a hotel so yeah, I've done my fair share of hospitality work I've done a bit of retail work as well but yeah I do my driving now and it is the least stressful job I think I've ever had in my life which is why I enjoy it so much I go out in my car by myself I don't have to deal with anyone and it's uh it's quite nice, it's quite relaxing. <laughs> Do my own thing, you know. Mate, come on. Cabal. Cabal. Where are you, Fred? Where are you, buddy? Plenty of pens around here. Oh, God damn it. You're going to make me run, aren't you? You're going to make me run somewhere to find a bag. That's just rude. I don't want to do that. Come on. <laughs> Another enforced lock. Don't need two on us. Let's keep the one on us in case we come across a vehicle. Yeah, I'm on. Two or ten. I know. Pretty sure it needs to be eight, doesn't it? Eight or ten? Or... At least eight. A quick look. Where are you? Nine. Damn it.
Not a single piece of thread in all those cars. Oh, hello, friend. See you there. I'm telling you, mate, I'm blind sometimes. I don't even see things right in front of my face. Oh, have you got Fred? Are you taking him hostage, mate? Are you holding him? Give him back to me. He's my friend. Bloody hell. Where are you, Fred? Where are you? Get off me, scrap. You're holding me back. Hello? Apparently I broke that arrow even that's right there. Oh no, there it is. He gave it back to me. What a nice man, eh? What a nice man. Realised we haven't even loaded this yet, have we? really think that we're going to have to go somewhere else to find a piece of thread. I think where we're going to have to go is the hospital. The hospital, mate. You know what I mean? If we can get the hospital, there'll definitely be a piece of thread there. But then again, saying that, we were... Hmm. Hmm. certain things I want to find from here. I don't think I'm going to get them. A bit of pain in the arse. I mean, realistically, if we stayed here looking all day, we would be here for the whole stream, wouldn't we? <laughs> city down south, but closer. What city? Town. This is um the. It's not a town, is it? That's uh. What is this down here? I don't know what this is now? Brickyards over here. Oh, what? Let's run down there. Why not? Why not? Eh. Have a little run. I don't know this bloody scrap. Hey. Get off. Get off me. You know what? Let's get rid of you. Don't need you anymore. Hello, friends. I'm leaving now. Oh, bollocks. Hello. Round right into you. Bye. A beautiful time. Right. Let's get moving there. Let's go down south. Worst case, we'll look here. If there's nothing here, then we'll just go straight to the bunker. We'll do that. We'll... Yeah. Southwest, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much southwest. I don't know what it is with these construction pants either, right? You can notice right now they're white. <laughs> so you wear a pair of brown construction pants, they get dirty, and they turn white. Makes complete sense. But all right then. Surely they just get more brown. <laughs> Hospitality, retail, medical, insolvency, and civil service here. All fun and games. Oh, anything's all fun and games until someone gets hurt, though, isn't it? Little lay down. Bloody exhausted already, mate.
That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Keep moving, shall we? Somewhere's, somewhere's got to be housing Fred. He always does this. He runs away. And then I can't find him for ages. But I guarantee you, as soon as I don't need him, he'll be there. Like a bloody vulture. At every bloody corner. <laughs> Why is everyone going mental about the solar eclipse as well? Everyone's acting like it's going to go pitch black and we don't, you know, own lights and have electricity. <laughs> Telling you to go stock up on your food and your gasoline and everything else for the day. Because it might be a little bit busy for locals some places. Which is fair enough, I understand that point, but they're acting as if we're going to have, like, complete darkness all over the globe. <laughs> is this this isn't the brick factory is it oh, it is the brick factory oh that's looks... why was I thinking this was the brick factory up here Yeah, nice to see you, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Update must be getting closer with updates. All the work they have done on website, Steam, and YouTube. Yeah, all these things will just be in preparation for like a full release, um, of course. But like with, with Scum, like if you look at their market inside of things, they've they've done basically nothing over the course of like five, six years. Like realistically, they've done minimal when it comes to market inside of things. So a lot of this now will be Jagex pushing sort of marketing stuff out and pushing the game out there because it's obviously getting closer to the time of full release. But I still don't think we're going to see it until Q3 of this year. You know, end of Q2 at the very earliest, but I don't think it's going to be sort of before June. I think if anything, it will be summertime. You know, maybe August. At the, mm, I, th I think August, September maybe. But, you know, that's just my opinion. I haven't got any definite sort of information about that. Put that on. Yeah, because I can't hold any things we may as well. May as well, mate. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll cut that up and we'll make a bundle of rags. Uh, rags. I just want them to get the update right, you know. I'd rather them spend the time on it this year and get it all correct and get everything sort of polished up and ready rather than just rush it out because people are wanting it, if you know what I mean. Because realistically, like, everyone wants everything for nothing all at once. It's just the day and age we live in now. Which is a bit of a shame, really, because, you know, it doesn't really help early access games like this. People get bored of them very quick because they don't want to be a tester as such, which is essentially what you are for scum. When you're playing early access, is a you're essentially a tester for the game. <clears throat> but yeah, be very nice when 1.0 does land, though. Very nice indeed. It's going to be a lot coming to Scum in the future, especially when modders get hold of the game. Bloody hell! <laughs> you imagine what happens then. Careful around here, man. There might be someone around here collecting bricks. Get ourselves a nice easy kill though, wouldn't we? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I probably would die. Take a lighter. Need one of them. God damn it. Come on.
Fred, you in here? No. Some whiskey though. That would be good to take. That would be very good to take. Oh, let's eat this. Get rid of that other rag. We'll take this uh, whiskey with us. Have they? Oh, actually, have they fixed this yet? Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, because when you got it in your hand, it's the aseptic rag. Obviously, if you put it on the floor like this, it just looks like a normal rag. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's a bit weird. Still a little bit bugged out, but at least it works, I suppose. Right, that'll do. Damn it, the brick wall. Got to get out of the back end. <laughs> Not really a lot here, is that? That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Hello? I miss puppets spawning inside buildings as well. As I said before, I think they should really bring it back where they have the sleepers. And then, obviously, when you walk into a town, you will wake them up, and then that will then create a horde as such. And that would be a better way of doing it, but, yeah, obviously, as I said before, I don't have the first clue when it comes to programming, so I'm not going to tell them how to do the job. <laughs> don't think September, too many games coming out then. Would bet on June, but for sure. Must be without bugs. Yeah, of course, man. They, 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 that's what I mean. They've got a lot to sort out on the back end of things. But they've always said once they've got their, their their foundation down, as in like once they've got to a stage of 1.0, you know, or before releasing that stage, they'll go back and visit those old res those old systems and obviously adjust those bugs and stuff and balance things out. So it will get done, obviously, eventually before it releases. But it's not nice to know also that once it does release into a full game, they're not going to just move on to something else. You know, this is still going to get updates and stuff. Still quite a lot to come into it. So it will still be worked on quite actively. But yeah, it's a uh, it's a good start for their for their team. Creating something like this, you know, the first thing. Well it's not I know it's not their first thing, but you know, of this scale, it's uh quite impressive. Compared to what we have on the market at the moment. Obviously, we've got games like Rooted coming out soon. Um, well, I say soon. I don't think that's even got a date yet to come out. Bloody Kruger, mate. Kruger. Let's take that in our hands for now. But yeah, Manor Lords comes out on the 20th, I want to say, or 25th. It's around that time in this month. That is one game I'm definitely going to be playing. Ooh. Leave it. Yeah, I've had my eye on that for a while. That looks very good. New subscription received. Dispensing gratitude. Gratitude dispensed. And back. Lost the connection outside. Now I'm fresh view again. Thank you for that sub. Very much appreciated. I think we must be 49 away from our 3k mark now. I thought that was a piece of thread then. I actually thought that was a piece of thread sitting there. Nah. <laughs> but yeah we were trying to hit a 3k mark obviously before the end of this month would be good because that will keep us on track for our 5k mark for the end of this year oh instant oatmeal that's good to take with us you know 
get rid of that for now. We need to find some water. Some water, mate. You know what I mean? Received. Dispensing gratitude. Gratitude dispensed. Nicholas, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome to the community. Oh, I don't want any of that. I just want Fred. Where is he? Come on. <gasps> Bloody hell, mate. What are you doing to me? It's torture. Do me a favour as well, guys. If you can, just smash that like button down below for me. It really does help push the stream out to more people. And I will be forever grateful to every single one of you legends that do that. We did a little search of that, didn't we? Yes. Hmm. Right then. Let's go out to the hospital, I think. that would be a good place. We'll get some decent meds up there as well. It's not too far away. What? Oh, I'm really tempted just to get it straight down to the R, down to here. But we haven't got no screwdrivers, so let's go to the hospital. Try and find some screwdrivers as well while we're up there. I did find a yellow one there last week. But I've been noticing yellow screwdrivers are a lot more common now. I found one just on a bed the other day. Just sat on a bed in the open. I didn't search it or nothing. And that was uh, the first time I think I've come across that. And it's how I've really found yellow screwdrivers when I've actually searched things. Sub bombardment. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Get the train going. Not that type of train, you dirty fuckers. All right. <laughs> I don't want no part in that type of train. All right. Leave me, leave me alone. Running through the forest with my Kruger uh, and my tank top. Uh, 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 uh. Just need a stellar in my hand. <laughs> Smash? No, not going to go buy a new phone, but we could tap the like button. <laughs> no, I think you should smash that like button like it's just disrespected your mother, mate. All right? I wouldn't take it. That like button's been abusing you for the whole stream, and you're going to let it do that? Oh, mate, I wouldn't have it. You shut up, all right? Please, Fred, be in here. Please, I'm begging you. Hiking bag would be nice as well, but... So we're definitely going to find one of them, are we? We need a good drink. We may as well just drink all this. Don't have enough duct tape to fix the light button again. Yeah, I just dropped that other piece as well, so... Unlucky. Oh. Hello, friend. What Antonio meant is tap the light button. <laughs> Yeet. Get rid of that. Money. Money. Hello? 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 Oi, you prick. Nah, didn't think though. Someone asked me yesterday if the mic, um, mic works for attracting puppets. I didn't think it did. Because it doesn't affect your, um... The sound meter at the bottom left. I thought I'd double check just to make sure they haven't changed it. <laughs> oh, I just wanted a bag. Usually quite good for finding uh, hiking bags at garages like this. Gas stations. Whatever you'd like to call it. Wherever you're from in the world, I guess. Yeah, i Pick up my Kruger though. Thought about that. I actually did. That slipped my mind. No, nothing. Alright. Ugh, I don't want to be going west. Ugh. Go this way. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's so weird streaming. Usually, like, I do that bit and then cut in the edit. And then just do a nice little cutscene for you. <laughs> and then I'd be at the hospital. But fortunately, you got to sit with me through all the boring stuff while I run through this forest all the way up there now. So, I'm lucky. What, what you'll find is... Um, my brain wanders when I'm doing this. <laughs> Usually when I'm recording, I'm just like half paying attention to what I'm doing. But I need to remember that obviously I'm streaming right now, so I can't be doing that. <laughs> and again, members, we are going to be doing a fireplace meeting tonight from 7pm, so... We'll finish the stream at 6, I'm going to go have dinner and stuff, and then I'll meet you in the Discord at 7pm. We may only do about a half an hour meeting this evening, it depends. Um, I'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'd like to uh, spend a little bit of time with my missus this evening. <laughs> as long as you lot don't mind, obviously. I don't mind, really. What you got for me? Great. Sweet. Give me them. Damn it. Lovely jabbly. I do love some grapes. Still on search for that uh, strawberry patch. I've still not found them. They're usually in like the bee areas in the forests. Well, this is all one box then. What's that? And there's still fuck all inside it. <laughs> of course. Of course there isn't. God damn it. What else you got for me? Anything? A stupid rag strip. Come on, Fred. Fred, where are you? My friends. Shut up. Sit down. You got my friend. Is Fred with you? I really wish as well that puppets would drop what they're wearing, if you know what I mean. Like he had a bag on his back then. I wish they'd drop that. Could have picked it up. Would have been mine. Pretty cold. May as well put it on, eh? I'm running the wrong bloody way. What an orbit. <laughs> Running east, I need to go in west. Oh, what an idiot. Oh, what a bloody idiot. Okay, must have been outside. Thought I had something bang on my left side then. <laughs> it's like outside the, uh, where, I'm, where I am. Confused me. It is confusion. Good day, sire. How is one today? Sorry, told you my brain wanders, man. <laughs> you see the weird side of me. I'll cut out the weird side of me, give you a cutscene instead, but I can't do that now because I'm streaming. Yeah, bored. One thing I found about these sounds as well, some of them have feedback. You just hear this like feedback behind the actual sound, it just breaks the immersion. But yeah, there's things wrong with Scum, obviously, but there's things wrong with every game. I have full hope that they'll sort it out, though. Don't get me wrong. If I did, I wouldn't have stuck around for the last four and a half, nearly five years.
But yeah, I have a list of, I think it's about 85 wish listed games at the moment that I'm keeping my eye on. <laughs> There's a good one. I did a video on it a little while ago. Um, it was uh, get like upcoming games in 2024 or something like that. I think the title was along them lines. One of them in there was called Drake's Odyssey. I don't know if anyone's heard of it. But it's like a survival game like this, essentially. But you're an alien. I thought it was really interesting. But there haven't any been any updates on that recently. I don't know if it's still in production or not. But I hope it is, because that looked really fun. Am I going the right way now? Yeah. Sort of. Go up the other bridge, I guess. I need to uh, I need to soundproof this room. <laughs> I keep hearing things outside and thinking they're behind me. So yeah, hopefully we get a piece of thread from here. Hopefully we can find a bag as well. But if not, we can make one with a piece of thread. Just need to find him first. He's elusive. It's like one of the rarest items to find in Scum is a piece of thread. Unless you've already got a piece of thread and then you find them every two bloody minutes. <laughs> Hello, little fishies. Little fishy on my little dishy. There's a little fishy. Yeah. Have a quick look around here. If we don't come across anything substantial, then we'll just go straight down to the bunker. Like finding a needle in a haystack. Wait, no, that's way more common. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I do actually find more needles in haystacks than I do thread, like, straight off the bat. It's mad. But I do like how the devs actually did that. If you find if you search haystacks in this game, you will find needles. Like <laughs> <laughs> found three of them in haystacks this morning. Bloody hell. Yeah, I've been finding needles all over the place. I don't know why. I don't know if the loot table's been a bit jumbled again. Oh, I wish there was a boat here. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? My feet are soaking wet from running on the dirt. Squelch, squelch, squelch. A time for a lovely picnic, is it? Like, state of the table, though. Why has it got a divot in it? <laughs> oh, it's because it's not. The bench is facing the other way. I thought it was like a picnic table at first. But no, there's backrests there, isn't there? You dumbass. Yeah, dad, dad, dumbass. Come on. The mobile phone in that one. Come on. I'm still jumping from the chair when I find yellow screwdriver, screwdriver, even if it has one use left. Yeah, I do the same, mate. <laughs> I 
But as long as I don't hear a car, it'll be alright. Nearly there. Get up this bloody hill. Oh, good grief. I thought there was an actual puppet going up my street just then. <laughs> I got the local crackheads walking up the street over. <laughs> Definitely a puppet. But I just thought it was a bit weird, a bit far out. Hello? Couple of you. Oh, I missed. Hush. My friend, give me a piece of Fred. Yeah, I'm on. God damn it. Yeah, well, get up there. It's not that steep. Find that. Don't lie to me. Seriously, non-verbal chappy with his hair is out for a walk, but sounded just like that one. <laughs> that reminds me, to take my missus out for a walk at some point. I'm joking. <laughs> she always moans at me. So like when we get a dog, I'll go for two walks a day, I told you. But until then, I'm not leaving my cave, alright? I'm too busy. <laughs> Come on. It'll be an easy way of getting up here. Bloody hell. Darn it, Urban. I almost spat my coffee on my monitor then. <laughs> I usually tell people when we're out in public. You should tell them, tell them I'm, I'm a carer. <laughs> Fucking winds are up. <laughs> Have a little resty poo quickly and then we'll go in. Really? It's head height, mate. Come on. Bloody hell, you donkey. And this is where we find nothing. slippers just for me thanks I hear one in it maybe upstairs isn't it it's gonna be upstairs oh, shit fine come downstairs just don't make Come in. Yum, 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 yum. Painkillers would be good. Take some of them. Why not? Mate, this hospital is always loaded with 
tablets, antibiotics as well. Ugh, you know what? Got three bloody needles on us for some reason. There we go. Got our antibiotics. Got our painkillers. Need a bag now. Give me a bloody bag and some thread. Come on. He must start dressing. It's a shame we ain't got bloody room to carry anything, in it? Fuck you, do. Jesus Christ. That's what I love about this place, though. The amount of medical supplies you can find up here is mad. Alright, let's go deal with this uh, knobhead up here, shall we? Hello? Hello? Goodbye. Hello, friend. Sit down. Really? In the ass. <laughs> you got a colonoscopy with an arrow, my friend. That must have been lovely. I'm not here for cookbooks. I'm just here for thread. I don't know where he is, but I need to go to bed. My brain's fried. <laughs> Come on. I just want one piece of thread. Stuff your gas lantern, mate. Stick that where the sun don't shine, all right? Scum gods really not liking me today, are they? Damn it. God damn it. Thought I'd be cheeky then. Find a piece. Whee. Nope. Of course not. Of course not. Not for little old me. That light messed up my head then. Come on. Where's Fred? Where is he? Fred, where are you? Where are you, buddy? I'm here. Talk to me. Glad you. Oh, another pair of slippers. What I always wanted. Hello? Them, thank you very much. Ugh. Ugh. This is ridiculous. Alright, next week, not playing this server. <laughs> Three hours, not one piece of bloody thread. You're having a giggle, mate. You're having a fucking giggle with you, mate. Bloody hell. What's going on? The crutch. I need that when I jump off the back roof in a minute and end my life. <laughs> you ready? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not that deep, man. It's only a piece of thread. Even if it is driving us fat nuts. <laughs> Hello? Indeed, hardcore, my friend. Yeah, on. I don't want your screwdriver right now, right? Or your mouldy socks. Ah, uh, please, Lord, have bloody mercy. Give me some thread. <laughs> oh, there's a bag there. Nice pink bag. Uh, still bigger than our bag though, isn't it? Indeed. Not by much, but... Oh, oh yeah, baby. Only real men wear pink, all right?
Yeah, good point. The only reason I didn't take it is because I didn't have room, but I have room now, don't I? So I should really take it. What one was it in? Somewhere around here, wasn't it? There. All right, let's take that for now. At least we've got a little bit more room with this bag. Not much, but... It'll do, donkey. It'll do, actually. Take that. Let's go back here. Uh, take that. And then... Make one of those. Nice. Not the best condition, but at least keep us uh, blended in a bit more when we're out and about running around. I just heard a footstep. Probably a puppet. Probably a puppet. Do do do. I mean, there was a syringe there, but I'm definitely not going to go and fight uh, Brenner right now. <laughs> we are. Oh, it's only five for fifteen. Damn it! God damn it! I got so excited then. <laughs> oh. Game's just teasing me now. It's like, here, have this one. Even though you can't use it for what you want. Mwah. <laughs> Great. Ooh, take that. Ooh. That's a full battery, my friends. Definitely want to take that with us. <clears throat> Come on, please. Swear to God. Still don't think we can do it though, can we? Da, 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 da. Oh, we can, yes. I totally forgot we can combine things now, can't we? Dumbass. Well, we can make a improvised bag, one of these 5x5, five five, so it'll give us uh, some more slots around the edge. Damn it. Well, at least we've got some more room. We're going to have to uh, definitely kill a couple of puppets, though, and grab their skins. Round and around we go. They call you dizzy, yeah? Woo! <laughs> more rounds for me. Don't overheat, you pleb. Ah, I'm not going to overheat. It's night time at the moment. We're right. 36.6. We're fine. We're fine. Don't you worry, my son. We'll be alright. We're fucking geezer. You know what I mean? Geezer. To be honest, though, we could probably just get rid of this. Saying that, it's pretty useless. Can't repair it. Take them with us. Ah, oh, we'll take the 9 mil as well, just in case. I've just realised I don't have my Kruger with me anymore. Oh well. Took me a while to realise as well. <laughs> I probably dropped that a while back. <laughs> Hello, friend. Oh, I've got whiskey on us as well. Don't need it. Taking up more room than we need to uh, take up. Oh, 
Alright, well, let's get out of here then. And, uh, we'll head. Yeah, because we've got Fred now. Make a bigger bag. Head down this way. There's a couple of maintenance houses around here, though, so we'll check them out. Might find a screwdriver in there. Yeah, it's not that high, is it? Yep. Damn it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I don't know why I listen to this one brain cell that tells me to do these things. Do it. Jump. Do it. Do it. You'll be fine. Hello? Ah, oh, well. It's only a C1. We'll be alright. It's not like we broke our leg, is it? See if we can find an emergency bandage pack down here as well. Should be good. Come on. Take some four five as well. May as well. You never know what you might find. If we've got the ammo for it already, it's just a bonus, isn't it? Anything for me? Nah, probably not. Take that. Right, let's get over here. Have a little look in here. Let's see if we can find a screwdriver. Got the bolts, a massive axe. Got a small axe though, so that'll be alright. That'll be alright. Another metal pipe. I don't really need it right now. Don't really need it. Some soap. Take some of that. Wash my scummy body. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Actually, now I better take care of you and I. Just in case. I don't want you screaming the place down, do we? Hey. Eh? Yeah, nothing for me anyway. Yeah, bastard. Come on, there's got to be a screwdriver in one of these buildings. Surely. We might, we might find some in the bunker. I mean, it's not impossible to do, but I'd rather have some before we go down there. I don't want your pen. I want your screwdrivers. <coughs> Damn it. Coffee. Drink another coffee. Talking of coffee, let's have a bit of coffee, shall we? I love a good thermal flask, I tell you. Made that coffee nearly three hours ago and it's still hot. <laughs> Talking of thermal flasks, I have got a merch store now open. And you can find the link to that on the main channel page. I was just playing around with some ideas as uh, a couple of people had asked for some merch stuff a few weeks back, so 
I thought I may as well, and it was sort of like the best sort of store price range for you guys. Um, a few of them are just complete rip-offs. It's mad. Um, but yeah, obviously I don't expect anyone to buy merch, obviously, but it's there if you do want to have a look. And you do want to support me in another way on the channel, you can do it by that. Or obviously you can become a member as well. It all does support the channel. It all goes back into it. Gets upgrades and stuff, which then in turn gives you guys obviously a better viewing experience. Visually, audio. All that lovely jabbly stuff, you know. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? That's what I'm hoping to hear from a screwdriver, but I don't think it's going to sing to me like that, is it? Yeah, boy. Just one screwdriver, please. I'm going to take that hemostatic crescent. Thank you very much. I don't want your gym jams, mate. Alright. I'm not the boy in the striped pajamas. Such a good film, though. As well as Shinder's List. That's a good film as well. Over and down. Come on. Please. For the love of Christ. There's a nice pair of curtains there. Rue Java, lovely. I was hoping it would be a yellow one, but... Desk mat. Yeah, I like that desk mat. That's quite nice. I was going to do a different design on that, but it just didn't look quite right. So, I thought I'd leave it how it was. It was a... Uh, it was a sort of simple, but nice sort of design for a, a desk mat. Come on, more screwdrivers, please. Off scum subject, hope you'll be able to see the sun eclipse tomorrow. It's alright, you can talk about off scum stuff. Just because we're streaming stun doesn't mean you have to talk about just scum. Perfectly fine by me. But yeah, that's what I was saying about earlier. Um, keep seeing loads of news articles being like, stock up on stuff for the solar eclipse. It's like, right, it's going to be one day. It's not like it's... We haven't got electricity, we're in the dark ages, and we're not going to be able to see anything for the, the, the day, you know, or however long it's going to be, <laughs> like. <laughs> Scaremongering, man. That's what the media's good for. That's all it's good for. Yeah, I'm on. Where's all the bloody screwdrivers, mate? Who likes short shorts? Do 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 do. We like short shorts. Do 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 do. Screwdriver, please. There's what? There's four four lockers in each armory. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna need a few of them, and I. I mean, I don't necessarily have to loot the lockers in the in the bunker, but it would be ideal, wouldn't it? No point going down there and not looting them. Well, the good stuff is. Oh, take that. Yeah, bored. Yeah, bored. Bloody hell. Why are you doing this to me? God damn it. Oh, that's a nice find, though. Take that. Thank you very much. Alright, one building across the road, and I think there's another maintenance building. Um, what's the, oh no, this was the last building, alright, go over here then. 
bit further down there. I think that's the maintenance building. It's in there, yeah. Right. Anything of use for me in here? Anything at all? I'd appreciate a screwdriver, but I'll take them for sure. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. That's a good find. I'll take the Bunny Star cereal. Jesus Christ. What the hell did we eat? It was that cheese, wasn't it? Definitely that cheese. God. Fuck, I wonder if our calorie count. That's just gonna drop. <laughs> I didn't realise our fucking calorie count was so high. I have to sprint around for the next three hours to run that off. God damn, son. I wonder if my food counter at the bottom was 100% for so long. Cassie Meyer died. Not interested, mate. Not interested. Take another pot of painkillers, though. Why not? Won't be able to see it. It's over before the sun and the moon get to me. How much sugar was in that coffee? Yeah, I know, mate. Had two coffees and it ran through me like nothing. I have a dilemma. 350 euros for APU build or 7,600 plus used 1070. What to get for scum 1080p monitor for now? When I run mine, I'm I'm using 1080p monitors, and I'm on a. Uh, I've got to remember off the top of my head now. I'm on an i5 processor. I've got a 3060 GeForce graphics card, 16 gigabyte RAM, and you know I sit comfortably at about 90 FPS in like busy areas, 120 plus in like. The woods and stuff running around. Get me in a plane, it's a different story. But most of this is obviously game issue at the moment. Um, not optimization work and stuff needs to be done on Scum. So, to be honest, you could really run Scum on most computers. I pretty much believe that when the devs started making this game, they were making it intended for use on potatoes. So, shouldn't have an issue running it, um, no matter what you're on. <clears throat> yes, you're right, Mary. They are in the description, aren't they? I forgot I added them in. <laughs> I'll add um I'll add all the chat stuff in, like exclamation marks, um, server, Discord, uh, Discord, and specs, and all that sort of stuff throughout the week. I was supposed to do it this week. I just haven't found the time yet. I run it okay on my old potato. Yeah, it's, it is designed to to run on older sort of PCs. You know, you don't need to have this. You know, a brand new PC to, to be able to run Scum, which is one thing I love about it. I mean, if I didn't have the PC setup I have now, I would probably still be using a partitioned MacBook and running Scum off that, if I'm completely honest. I used to run Armour off a partitioned uh, MacBook. That was fun. God damn. Nothing for me, eh? Nothing for me. Not a single screwdriver. Well, I found two, but it's four uses. So I can go and do one armory, basically. With that. Which isn't the greatest. I prefer to get at least two armories. Give us a better chance of finding some stuff. 
that's a good find. Prepare this up quickly. We'll take that with us. I haven't actually found one of these ropes for a, a while, to be fair. One odd place to find it. In a desk. Alright then. Well. This is fun. At least I found some thread here. And some tablets and stuff, so we don't have to worry about infection markers and that now because we've got antibiotics on us. There's got to be a screwdriver in this place somewhere. Somewhere, please. Whee, there's another one. Right, so uh, I don't know what's going to be for now. Metal pipe. Not interested. I'd really like a yellow screwdriver right now. I'd really like one. Please. Please, there's got to be one in there. No, there's another one, no. Could do two armories now. See what I mean about bread and stuff? Need that fish and wire ages ago. And now I've got a bloody bread and that. I don't need it. You know what? Take that instead of that. We can make another one then. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da. Let's get rid of you. Let's take them. On high settings. I mean, I'm running on ultra settings, I think, at the moment. Let me have a look. Quality on my DLSS. And then everything's on epic or high. Except from Cloud Shadow. I, I, I turned that down a bit because I thought there's no point. But yeah. I could drop the rags, can I? No, but I want to keep the rags on me. Just in case I do um, decide to put a flag down somewhere. I don't have to go looking for them then. Could make a. Take one of them up though. Save us an extra spot, won't it? Bloody hell, mate. Alright. Let's make a move, shall we? And we want to go south. Actually, I'll tell you what. It is five to six, so... I think what we'll do, we'll rest here. At least there's a bed here, isn't there? Get our exhaustion down a little bit. The bed's upstairs. Rather be upstairs than downstairs. Don't think there is, is that? No, alright. Back downstairs it is then. I think we'll finish the stream off here. And then next week what we'll do, we'll start here and make our way straight down to the bunker. In a bed in here, I can bloody relax on, is there? Bloody hell. God damn it. Right, let's go back to one of the other buildings. There's a gap there somewhere. running the right way right now. No, I'm not. What an idiot. It's a shame we died so early onto that bloody mech. 
We would have been well on our way by now. But yeah. These things happen, I guess. It's alright. It's not the end of the world. We're still doing alright now, to be fair. Quite a few medical supplies as well, so it's good. Mate, I didn't even ask him for some cookies and he gave me some, Mary. That's how mad he was. I'm going mad as well. I'm sure there was uh, beds in one of these buildings. Being the last one to look in, though. Come on. Just want to lay down, mate. Get rid of this exhaustion. Damn it. Okay, screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> screw you, cow. Oh, I need to watch South Park again. I haven't watched it in ages. This will do. This will do. Just lay under the, under the stairs for the evening. But yeah, not doing too bad. What we'll do from here next week is we'll continue from here and we'll go straight down to this active bunker. We'll loot it up. See what we can get. And then from there we can go have some fun because I'm assuming we'll get geared up to some extent anyway. Got enough um, screwdrivers for two armories, I think. Four. And then, yeah, plenty. Two and a bit armories. We've got plenty of um, lock picks as well. Box of bobby pins just in case we need them. Not too bad. Got a shotgun. But yeah, I'm going to leave this stream there. What we'll do is we'll go onto the end screen as such. Let me just log out while I'm here. Why not? And yeah, I'll play some lovely music for you guys. And you can just head off as and when you please. But thank you for joining me today. As always, it's much appreciated. Remember, hit the like button for me, share the streams about, and I'll see you again next week. Till then, see ya.